11 friends raped her as well. You want me to talk about holiday music? I can't do it. I watched the tape on my website of the girls screaming as they're ripped apart from their mothers and fathers in the schoolyard. And then they took the mothers apart from the fathers and shot the fathers in the field. This is going on in our lifetime while this fraudulent imposter in the White House wages a phony war against ISIS. This goes on while that fraudulent, sour-mouthed creature, that Harridan, that that throwback Harridan, Hillary Clinton, the worst of the worst of womanhood, the lowest of womanhood, the lowest who says nothing about rape and kidnapping, instead attacks Donald Trump. This is going on in our lifetime. Slave auctions. Slave auctions, and you're numb to it. We have to do something. We have to do something. And we're going to help the men who are fighting them, because they're the men who are fighting them from their own villages. It started with 12 men, 30, 40, 50, 60-year-old men. They'd rather stay home in bed and play with a dog. Oh, I guarantee they'd rather go holiday shopping today. Yeah, they'd rather be on a Southwest airline or flying somewhere in a beautiful America created by the founding fathers because they knew that an imposter like Obama was liable to come along one day. He would try to subvert the Constitution and steal all of our liberties if he could. They knew that one day a gang, a criminal gang, would appear in this country and try to steal everything for themselves. That means all the power. And they set up checks and balances to stop this future criminal gang from doing so. And thus far, they've kept this gang of jackals at bay to a certain extent. These jackals have only... Uh, it is also important for us to keep things in perspective. And this is not an organization that uh, can destroy the United States. This is not a, a huge industrial power uh, that can pose great risks to us. Uh, what a moron. Institutionally or... What a uh, lying, crazed system. moron. They can't threaten us. Every attack in America, ISIS celebrates. They can't have, tell that to the families in San Bernardino, you fraud, you, you vacation globe tropping. Tr I don't know. Maybe I'm I'm over keyed up. When I watched the rapes and the when I watched the girls screaming on the video, little girls being taken away by subhumans, who this man denies even exists. Oh, they're no threat. Hey, Michelle and I, are, oh, we're off on a vacation. Yeah, hey, we did it again. High five us. We defeated those freaks in the Republican Party. Right on. We mowed them down. Right on, you fraud, you. You and Robert De Niro make some pair. Why do I say Robert De Niro? Because I spit on these Hollywood phony tough guys. I spit on all of them. They, they play tough guys in all their movies. They make believe that they represent the downtrodden and the poor and what they do in real life. Do they give a rat's behind about anything real in the world? All they want to do is stuff their own pockets. Don't you love it? Uh, Leon DiCrapio is a big environmentalist, flies around, smokes cigarettes on his private jet, and then he comes back and he cares about global warming. And you buy the PR agents, this, the, the, the lying PR agent puts out the thing that that's his thing. Look, Leon we got to come up with something for you, a cause. Make it global warming. All right, leave me alone. Let me go back to the, to the broads. And, and De Niro, a man for the people. Turns out he just uh, did a little manipulation on an island in the Caribbean. little rezoning so he could build a hotel with some, some billionaires like Hillary. Do you hear Hillary on the millionaires and billionaires? So I'm worked up. I can't take it anymore. I can't take it. The black community says nothing about real slavery. I have to sit and listen to Al Sharpton, that fraud, and Jesse Jackson talking about something that never touched them, never touched a fingernail of theirs, while real slavery goes on. You liars, you. You disgrace Martin Luther King Jr. You con men, you. If I have to be the last man standing screaming from a rooftop with the last microphone in America telling you that something stinks in Washington, I'll do it. One man alone. Others do it, but they talk around the subject. I'll make it real simple for you. There's kidnapping and rape going on right now, and we have to stop it. And Obama's fighting a phony war. He created ISIS. Everyone knows that. It backfired on him and the Girl Scouts, who have ruined the world. The Girl Scouts around Obama created ISIS in order to take down Assad. 
even though, even though they've seen that it was wrong because waiting in the wings to replace Assad were the equivalents of ISIS. There's no such thing as moderate Muslims in Syria, none. Everyone knows that. Ask any returning general after they got their pension. Obama's moderate Muslims are Obama's moderate terrorists. Call them moderate terrorists. See, when they chop your head off, they do it moderately. When they rape your daughter, they do it moderately. They rape your daughter moderately, not severely. That's as moderate terrorists. You ask any war man who comes back from that region if there are any such thing as moderate Muslims in the opposition to Assad, they'll say, of course not. No, not the doctors and engineers of Anderson Cooper's fantasies. And Wolf Blitz's fantasies about moderate Muslims in the opposition. They're all, they're all psychotic murderers. Everyone knows that. And they know that Assad's the only thing standing between them and the wholesale slaughter of all the Christians, all the moderate Muslims, all of the Kurds, all of the Yazidis that Assad, the evil man, still protects. But you can't understand that because that requires thought and nuance. You were told by Roger Friedman and the other stooges of Obama that Assad is purely evil and the opposition are the dentists and doctors and architects who will make a new Syria. You can blame all of this on George Soros, the one man who funded all of this, Zbigniew Brzezinski, who I am convinced Zbigniew Brzezinski is the architect of this. Hillary Clinton was the mouthpiece for this. This whole mess in the whole Middle East was created by the Soros, Brzezinski, Hillary Clinton axis. And yet, in all these debates, not one word about what she did to the world. She should have run off the stage months ago. If we had a legitimate press, she would have been driven off the stage months ago with horror and shame if there was truly a legitimate press in this country. They say, well, how can you let these rapes go on? You created it. It's on your doorstep. You, you created the Arab Spring. Aren't you ashamed that young girls are being raped by ISIS, which are a product of your creation? That would have been the end of the campaign. Instead of talking about Donald Trump like he's the evil one. That's because they own the media. So that's why I'm talking about it. And I'm not trying to drive you to a website or sell you a book. I'm trying to wake you up. Because when we have the men on in the next hour who are actually fighting them in the Assyrian army, I'm going to give out their address and I'm going to ask you to send their money directly to them, not through me. And I'm going to make a donation today because this is a Christmas week. How can we Jews and Christians in this country stand by while rapes of this magnitude, industrial-level raping, is going on? Industrial-level slave auctions are being held. How can we be so stupid as to be deceived by these professional civil rights activists in America to talk about wrongs that no longer exist in this country when real wrongs exist right now? There's a girl screaming in a sex chamber somewhere in the Middle East. I'm sorry to be so graphic. Jingle bells. Ru Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Santa Claus. Mickey Mouse. Does that make you feel better? Maybe i become too much of a realist. Maybe it's gotten to me. Maybe looking at the cancer has finally affected me. I can't take it anymore. I can't take this anymore. I cannot take the man getting away with so much that he gets away with. I can't take this silk-smooth liar in the White House another second. The man has destroyed the world, and he's shuffling off for another vacation with no ramifications after ripping off the treasury. Why is Hollywood not speaking out about the rapes and the kidnappings in the Middle East? Where are all the brave liberals of Hollywood? Where's Hillary Clinton? Why don't they say what? Oh, they're not Jewish? I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I got it. I got it. There's only certain victims that are permitted to be talked about in Hollywood. There, I've said it. You don't like it. It's too bad. Take it to, to one of the groups, the professional groups. Take it one of the professional groups. Only certain uh, victims need apply. I am so sick of this double standard of who can be a victim. So what do you want to talk about? Tell me what you want to talk about. Chuck on WBAP, welcome to the Savage Nation. Michael, good, uh, good show so far. Let me just say, I'm going to go ahead and pull over his shoulder here so it quiets down inside the truck. I love your passion. I, I love the way you reinforce to all of the listeners out here that are more than frustrated. We've reached our tolerance level with this administration and the likes. Also, the media. All of, I think that they just go crazy to deliver the bad news so they have viewership. Shock your audience value. Michael, you are 
a standalone and a very necessary entity. Yeah, well, I stand alone. I gave $100,000 of my own money to the Savage Scholarship Fund last year to put my money where my mouth is. I'm going to do it again this year, God willing. And I want to raise money for these Yazidi armies right now on the show in the next hour. That's right. I'm not looking to buy a beachfront mansion and say I'm a big conservative. I want to start it off with... If you actually knew, if you actually knew the truth, of what's going on in the media, you'd even be more enraged. But I don't want to go there because it's it's irrelevant what the others are saying and what they're really doing. What's relevant is what I'm saying and what I'm doing. That's all that matters. And uh, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to leave it at the fact that Hillary Clinton owns the wreckage in the Middle East and she's not been called on a carpet by Wolf Blitzer, one of the worst people in the history of America, America's existence. Because when you get a snake like Wolf Blitzer on CNN who lets her get away with this kidnapping, raping of these young girls and doesn't ask her a question about it, what does it tell you about Wolf Blitzer? It tells you that the government media complex is the worst poison the planet has ever seen. Thank you for the call. Okay, Fred on WABC, you're next up. Go ahead, please. Dr. Savage, thank you for taking my call. My name is Fred Sarkis. I'm the president of the Yonkers Assyrian American Association here in New York. And I just want to personally call you and thank you very much on behalf of all our people for bringing awareness to this matter. Well, and we're I going to play a tape in a few minutes of a survivor, a young girl who spoke before the U.N. And I was shocked that the uh, U.N. would even have her there after these years of this going on. I was just so moved by it that I'm going to have the leader of one of the military units facing them on this show in the next hour. You may know about that. Is that correct? Absolutely. Absolutely. We try to support them as much as we can because they're the only line of defense we have against these savages who are attacking our people. I want to ask you something. Let's say somebody sends them $100. Where does that money go? The money goes directly to their fund, and what happens is they try to buy, uh, like you said, either ammunition or... Uh, equipment or any type of survival tools really because they really well, have why is this why is this government of ours not giving them ammunition and tanks to defend their children and women why is obama that fraudulent cafe dancer getting away with this for some reason our government is, is keep dropping shipments of weapons to the wrong side of the line to the wrong people and not oh equipment. yeah they're dropping them to the wrong side by accident huh yeah, maybe if you should hire UPS or FedEx. Too bad they don't deliver. You're telling me that this government's dropping ammunition and weapons to ISIS? Is that what you're telling me and saying, whoops, we made a mistake? That's exactly what I'm telling you. Oh, dog. God, it's even worse than I think. So he's he's fighting for the other side. It's apparent to anybody with an IQ above 75 that Obama created ISIS and Obama continues to support ISIS for one reason only, and that's to bring down Assad. He still won't stop no matter what anyone says to him. He will not stop. Whoever set this policy in motion should be tried for war crimes against humanity. Thanks for the call. I'll be right back. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. The Savage Nation is sponsored by SwissAmerica.com, the only company I trust to protect my wealth and financial future. Call 1-800-289-2640. So Obama claims that um, white-collar, uh, blue-collar men are upset in America. That's a code word for white men. And then it, there's some legitimacy there that even though he spent $70 million on vacations, flies his dog on an Osprey helicopter to Martha's Vineyard to meet the billionaires and millionaires that he makes believe he hates, is there going to be potential anger and frustration as being taken advantage of by Donald Trump? Well, who's Obama taking advantage of by exploiting anger, frustration, and fear? Why, those would be the people who burnt down Ferguson. Why, those would be the people who burnt down Baltimore. Why, those would be the people on every day of the week on every street corner who scream about white privilege and Black Lives Matter. Is he not exploiting them? No one says it, though. That he's confident will prevail over ISIS. Then he says, Obama, the media is driving a false narrative about the threat of ISIS. You won't believe this. You won't believe this story. He doesn't talk about the rapes, the murders, the killings, the genocide against Christians. Not one word does this deceptive snake say about the realities of what ISIS is doing. Listen to this 
and really listen to 